In this video, I'm going to quickly go over what the play loop is for Season 18 for anyone who hasn't gotten into the game yet or is at a particular part and is stuck and not sure where to proceed from here because Destiny can be confusing. First off, there's going to be an initial intro quest. Play through that. Again, that's how you're going to get your artifact. And that will ultimately, once you're done with that, introduce some of the story and also take you to the helm. There's some cool cutscenes in there too. The next thing is you're going to access the star chart. The star chart is like each of the areas you've had in each of the seasons. In this case, it's not in one of the sub rooms. It's actually in the main hall in the helm. So you go there, it's on your left. That is where you're going to have the standard things that you do, like focusing Ingrams, doing upgrades that will allow you to land additional loot and items to feed the weekly play loop, again, like any other season. Each week, you're presented with new seasonal challenges. These challenges, when complete, give you repute. Repute is how you, again, upgrade the star chart. In addition, you need to find buried treasure, aye, priority, right? Around the system in what's called expedition missions, what we'll get to in a second. To get maps to get to this buried treasure, you're going to need to get map fragments and treasure coordinates to use in your captain's atlas. If you have a hard time finding your captain's atlas at first because you try to pick it up and you can't, make sure to check in your postmaster. That's where I found mine. Treasure coordinates are pretty simple. Those are obtained and stored up through playing core activities like Crucible, Gambit, and Strikes. Map fragments are obtained by playing through the Catch Crash activity. This activity is your standard six-player matchmaking mode, and it's pretty fun. There are a couple mechanics in this mode that we've seen so far, including standing on plates to launch bombs, clearing shanks to grab orbs that you ultimately will go then to throw at storage tanks. You'll take out majors to get a scorch cannon. You'll take that scorch cannon, take the shields off the walker to take the walkers down. Once you complete these mini levels, you're going to go to boss. At the boss, you're going to kill ads. You're going to kill the servitors that are actually shielding the boss and then rinse and repeat that three times. He has three health bars to drop him. And then at that point, you'll get your loot and of course your map fragments. You'll have to store those up over time. So again, doing that in the Crystal Gamma, you'll have to do that multiple times. But once you have enough map fragments and treasure coordinates, you will lock a treasure map in the Captain's Atlas that will allow you to grab additional loot at the end of the expedition mi mission. One thing to keep in mind, it looks like the treasure maps get better as you get through the season with different upgrades on the star chart. But these are the, the beginning one is the one you'll get this first week. And then again, you'll get upgrades here in the future. Okay, so what's Expedition? Expedition is a three-player matchmade activity where you follow a ship around loading up with treasure and preventing it from being stolen. To get the treasure, you kill ads and protect a plate. Treasure will fall down very similar to Grasp Average. You take it, you throw it at the, at the ship. During that time, sometimes champions will spawn. You have to kill them so they don't take the treasure. The other thing that will happen is that sometimes the thing will get shielded. And when that happens, you'll actually have to go and find the shield, which will be protected by some ads, kill it, and come back. Once you get it up to 100%, then it's going to go further down the track. You're just going to do this twice. It's going to go down further. You're going to have to do it again, fill it up again. Once you're done with that, at the very end, you're going to have to defeat a boss. And once you defeat the boss at the final destination, you'll be able to get the loot. And if you have the treasure map, you'll get better loot, including the possibility of craftable patterns. In addition, once you complete the cycle, a pirate hideout will show up that will have a relic you can return. The mechanics of these are pretty simple and will vary from week to week, but shouldn't take long for most guardians. One note that may be confusing is that if you put, can't put the relic in, and it wasn't clear when I did this, just look to the right of the star chart, and that is where you put it in to complete the challenge. Through all of this, you continue to complete seasonal challenges each week that appear to change and upgrade your star chart to give yourself additional loot and extra abilities in this mode. Also, every week, there'll be story telegrams from Ido, Mithrak's daughter, that you'll see, and radio messages from Aramis. That's really it, guys. That's the video. If you like the video, if you like the video, subscribe to my channel, jump my Discord, and I'll see you guardians in the tower.